Hey, what is up guys? My name is Require Storm, and uh, we are back with the Fire Emblem Sacred Stones because uh, I'm surprisingly having some fun with this game. It's honestly really surprising. Anyways, uh, we got our team here. I don't know why I gave Nami Hoppengar, but then again, there are Luna Druids here, so it's fine. Now, what we're gonna t we're gonna tackle this stage here. And I'm not very excited. I do want to give Cormagnar Lance. I'm going to not use Javelin. So the problem with this map is that uh, now it's recommended to actually go to the left side. And uh, to do that, we'll have someone go to the left side. By chance, will they use Sleep Staff on a Phantom? That'd be really funny if they did, but I'm gonna assume they don't. Alright, Chapter 16, Rule of Madness. Beginning is very slow. Let's just say it's very slow. Which I do kind of want to warp someone into the. the the, uh, the place with the Berserk Priest, because that would benefit me a bit. I forgot that was my original plan, to warp someone in there. And we do a hammer, and so <laughs> we don't really have to be uh, too conserving of our Warp stab uses. The problem is Natasha only goes so far. And warp is A rank. We don't have anyone else who does who has A rank in uh, stabs. So we're gonna have to op optimize. Um. So we're gonna bring Cormag here, and we're gonna try to warp him. Hero crest here. I love the fact that Merc can fly because uh, that just means you can reach uh, places that other people can't reach. Or Renek can just crit and not give Merc a kill. Skill, yes. That's all we needed. I'm gonna move that to the left. I don't think those other people can handle the left side. I'm getting a lot of ants in my room. It's not really fun. There are a lot of magic users, which is going to be annoying. But if we just have everyone move forward, we should be fine. Gonna need some staff experience. Now we can use Restore, nice. That's definitely one here. Um, I 
Problem is how we're gonna tackle with this Berserk Bishop. Oh nice, Dark Rank up. B Rank. Well, it's not a Bishop. His range doesn't really go that far, which is nice, but we do still gotta watch out. I'm gonna take these 1 EXP because uh, Murr needs all the EXP she can get. By chance, is that a... Okay, no, no stabs there, but... Yeah, it's just Eclipse up there, and Eclipse can't kill in this game unless you're at 1 HP. Which is less likely in this game than in Environment 6. Environment 6, you get reduced to 1 HP. That's pretty devastating, I'll be honest. Someone next, because that seems to be the way we do things here. 25 strength, is that max? No, I think it's 30 or 35. Something like that. I'm gonna keep healing because uh, Mars gonna keep getting HP, and I'm gonna keep getting staff rank for now. So nice. Alright, we're gonna move Cormac all the way up here. We can equip Killer Land so we can face this. I mean, we can't face the Armor Knight yet. I'm gonna hope that Noel does not die from that. That's why I put a Nosferatu on him. In case he did take damage. This is why I put Seth here. Definitely worried about these people back here. But since he has a heavy spear, he does so much damage that it doesn't really matter. Okay, we're going to do this. We can't even reach, okay. Do this first. Then we're gonna prepare to warp Cormag in. If he gets Berserk this turn, I can just restore him. Otherwise, we should be fine. Look at these stats. She also got 2 HP for now, which is nice. I'm just gonna be kind of the slow route because we have to wait for Murr, but it's fine. We need to type this along here anyways. Or they can just fight Ross. Ideally, we do not want Cormac to be slept here. The thief has appeared. Um, Cormac didn't get slept, but the Phantom did. I don't know how to feel about that. But since the this, since the Phantom's closer to the knight, I'm pretty sure he'll go for the knight. Well, if I move Natasha, I gotta move Natasha though. Yeah, I can't rescue the dude. There's like no point of like, like, uh, I don't know 
it's gonna stay there. I'm just gonna kill lance this guy. I know a javelin would be more beneficial because I can attack this dude. But right now, it's not really my focus right now. So I'm gonna stay here, because I'm gonna take some beefy damage. Yeah, he can't even kill. I don't know what this fighter was worried about. Well, I guess he doesn't like the fact that uh, Merg, Merg doesn't take damage. Or this dude can just fight me. And you know, not against anyone else. Wait, can Berserk enemies not get attacked by their own kind? Like, I can't kill the Berserk enemy. I can't tell if that's a good thing or a bad thing. That's Natasha, hold on. That should be, be able to take on the rest of these people. Alright. Um, yeah, a close isn't really that bad, honestly, when you get to the tick of it. It's not that bad. Especially when you got a dragon that can, like, tank every single hit. Yeah. It was 33% hit, I wasn't really worried about that one. Also, for this one, I can just use Nimi. Wait, it all doesn't have Luna, but it's fine. Heels. So that thief is gonna come in hot into the left side, and we don't want that to happen, to be fair. Apparently I forgot the fact that uh, blue units can pass your blue units, and that was one of my most embarrassing fails, but it's only been 13 minutes, I'm not really too mad about that. Also, I don't think we really have to deal with the Berserk step that I think about it. I'd say we just deal with that thief, because that thief is probably the most annoying part. Berserk step? The Berserk step dude doesn't even move that far. So we're just gonna go and guns blazing. That's a, that's the best way to use a spear. If I had an Air Phantom or an Air Summoner, I would definitely be able to like draw out the other dudes, draw the, draw the other soldier, Phantom Soldier, because I'm pretty sure I'm not sure about Berserk AI. But does, does Berserk AI also work with Phantoms as well? Yeah, 
Yes, give me that sweet, sweet EXP. Because I'm going to need it. Wow, only like four stats? It's not enough, Murph. I'm gonna need you to level up some more. Yeah, five damage from a fighter is pretty gruesome against Murr, at least. Un against other people? Not really. But Murr has like 18 HP right now. That's pretty low. Alright. First up, we try to get loot to heal. They have 36 HP. Whose idea was that? Yeah, I'm not really doing support this run. I know that's probably not good, but I could care less about supports and Zikersons. The only one I find worth doing is the Natasha Joshua one, and then again, I only know the, jo the Joshua and Natasha one. That's a rip. <laughs> I was hoping you'd survive for ages, maybe even months. The other one did. Why can't you? Gonna put here, Mar here. Time to heal. I could care less about the EXP right now. Right now, I just want to focus on getting through this. Is there someone I can warp in there that would deal lots of damage to these people? Probably Joshua. If only I could. I can. We'll see how this goes. I'll see, yes, warp is actually a very reliable source of EXP. You get 40 from it, it's pretty good. I'm gonna put Seth back here. Summon our dude. Dude, he has no luck. Yeah, they're going for a Josh one now. I just block off this thief. Would I actually block it? Anyways, uh, we're gonna try to warp someone else in there if I can. We're gonna dance for Ross and move him back here. First things first. Press on. Don't know why he's breaking lift there, but sure. It's probably a problem that Josh was here by himself. There are shamans coming after all. It's 
funny because the Phantom's actually funneling them into Seth. Which makes this pretty hilarious. Okay, the Shams are coming to the right. That's a good thing. I know the Druids are coming too. And, of course, they missed Phantom. What is that? Okay. Fine. Yeah, that's that's, that's totally fair. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um... Okay, kill the Valkyrie. Cause gosh dang, that'd be probably a problem. I'm gonna dance here. The problem is this phantom's not dead, which is gonna pose a problem. And Tasha can't kill anything. So I'm gonna Excalibur here so I can guarantee the hit. Reckon lift this guy. Please hit. Alright, just need to bank on his Renak hit. Okay, we're good. That was a rough situation, but we got out of it. Now we just gotta see if uh, Joshua can get out of this situation. I wish I didn't crit. Now we have a chance to die here. It's unlikely, but it can happen. Okay, we're fine. And a double crit doesn't even kill him. That's fantastic. Oh, it's Bolting Zeus now. I love it. A Sleep Staff? Why didn't you say so? First things first, we uh, warp someone. We're gonna need it, or Cormac's going to die. You know what? We're gonna reset. I'm not comfortable with that situation. Okay. New plan? Bolt to the left. Why did this chapter do one this hard? This is a Mer chapter. Alright, first things first, we put Joshua in there. If he doesn't live, then whatever. We already got one magic from that. We gotta keep this run. Let's 
we're gonna have a uh, Cormag attack everyone here. And Seth, I guess. We're gonna move them backwards though. Try to get Joshua out of there on the left side. Wait, we killed this time. That's nice. Yeah, give me a hero, Chris. I don't really need it, but. Yeah, these mercenaries don't move for one turn for some reason. I'm gonna adorm this guy. For some reason I thought he did zero damage and that would not be likely. The fighter, I mean not Cormac. Cormac's not gonna do zero damage. Kill a soldier. Not quite, but close. Of course, soldiers give less XP. Why wouldn't they? I got like 70 ish XP, got like 80. Kind of pathetic. Okay, here's what we do first, we summon a dude. Just for uh, some uh, frontline attack or offense here. Then we're gonna have Ephraim. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna take Ephraim, give an Iron Lance, take a Restore Staff. So we're gonna trade this to loot and replace her Mend, because she doesn't really need Mend. And we'll get the Mend back and take our Lance back, whatever. That doesn't really matter right now. Okay, and then we heal Mer so we can get our weapon experience. So we will be able to use Restore now. Remove Mer up. Then we're gonna have Loot get warped onto the right side. So we're at S rank at Stabs, which is nice. Um... So we're gonna have Joshua destroy everyone first. with 57 crit.
I'm gonna look her up because I know what's gonna come. It's fine. It's not Jers are gonna come in. Oh, they're moving on. They're going the right side first. That's actually fine. Um. I didn't know they would do that, and it's very interesting. But since they're all uh, sword dudes, Cormac has nothing up here. Seth might. We'll see. Is out of range, and basically we can just move everyone as we want right here. So we're gonna have Ross uh, hold the rear because we still have those great knights to worry about. I just don't know when they come. Probably when we make make our way to the right side. Dodge. Okay, there are barrage enemies coming our way. That's fine. Okay, best case scenario right there. We do have elixir, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Res. There is a Luna right here. You know, what? I'm gonna do something crazy. Um, there's no javelins here. There's sleep staff, but I'm not too worried about that. I might just warp in Nimi so I can get the get the. Uh, the Hoplin guard. Let's see what loot does. So we're actually gonna have Murr use Dorky. And also we're gonna bait up this one shaman right here with this uh, phantom. She seems fine right now, but there's no guarantees. There's never guarantees. There is a sleep staff on the other side after all. Yeah, that didn't that did more damage than I expected.
So that's fine, actually. We do still have a Restore Staff. Yet. And that's and that concerns me a lot. It's gonna use last use of our elixir, but it's fine. So we're gonna summon So we're gonna summon again. Range is pathetic. <laughs> Actually, her staff range in general is pathetic. Physic and warp only goes so far because she only has nine magic. I did not expect this chapter to be the one that gives me most trouble. Come for some reason. I'd love to be able to fight that dude, but I can't. It's gonna restore Joshua. Let's see how much damage a Sage does, because Sage actually kills Tethys. 27. No, actually, she barely survives. Um, that's a purge though, which I did not expect. I'm not gonna put Joshua in there because of that druid. Now we're gonna start taking apart these people with Seth and Cormag. Seth's so good, man. Look at them stats. Problem here is this druid. Twenty seven damage with a flux, and that still doesn't do any damage to uh Mur. However, it does a lot of damage to Ephraim. We're gonna do this. That 
that was not a good position for me to put Noel, actually. Physic Ephraim. Destroy this great knight, as always. Gonna take a third try for this one, I think. Please, Druid, attack the, the Phantom. big deal that he gets slept. That's the last sleep anyways. Alright, time for chaos. Um... I do want to mend. I mean, I could have healed actually, but... We're gonna destroy- we're gonna try to destroy this, uh... 10... that's 2 damage. So I'm gonna do this. Of course he misses. The biggest threat was that druid. Okay, she got res. Nice. We gotta get rid of this guy. Oh, the Dolma actually might save Joshua. Yeah, I think the Dolma just saved Joshua. Because he can't get killed by Purge now. He has 12 res. I'm, now I'm really glad I use Adolma. Also, Ross didn't get strength yet, and that's kind of sad. But we're gonna move everyone to the left now. We haven't even broke past the left corridor. More doubling? What is this nonsense? So I think the top side is fine. It'll be barely fine, but we're fine. Merd putting in work. Again, Eclipse isn't that really big of a deal. He went for Mur, apparently. So we don't want to. We don't. We don't actually want to take out uh, Noel yet, because that would be too dangerous. 
the purge is the problem here. So we're gonna leave more like this because uh, she'll be able to tank most things. Which is all I can ask for right now. Now we're going to dance and restore Renek. I'm also surprised they're not going for Ephraim because that would be the ideal play here. Sixty crit. Yeah, let's just have Mar destroy everything. <laughs> Legitimately, she is going to destroy everything. She has so much res. Wait. No, 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 no. I was, I was thinking like, oh, she's so little res. The dragon zone gives her so much res, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, the top side's good. Okay. So the fact that we're using so much uh, dragon stone already is kind of not fun. Dorky. Do this. Dance for Noel. Watch for this guy. Summon right here. I'm gonna try to bit out one dude first. As long as there's no real, like, Danger of reinforcements, we should be fine. Probably gonna end up so soon though, because it's not really confirmed we're gonna beat this. Start leveling up Noel's staff rank actually. God divine. Okay. Now I wanna do something crazy, and that basically is uh have Mur bait out every single eclipse. Cause gosh dang, I believe in her. We'll end up this turn, then we'll go to the next uh, episode. Still gotta be kinda cautious. Re reinforcements can pop up anywhere. With that said, next time on Fire Arms Circus Sims, we'll be going on to this chapter again because this chapter is it's going pretty smoothly. This attempt is going really smoothly. I'm glad I reset earlier from the second attempt because uh, that would have been pretty bad. As long as we don't, we don't mess anything too terribly, we should be fine and we should secure this win. But hey, my name is Fire Soul, and this episode's over. So with that said, see you guys and stay safe.
Thank you.